Hello, my name is Pacera, and this is my entry for the ICDL 2019 Design and Engineering Competition. So for this challenge, we're supposed to create a 3D model of a futuristic race car or car using the software Solid Edge 2019 from Siemens. I chose to make a model of a futuristic car. So this is the design of a car created to fit this theme. And as you can see, this is the design shown here is a car in its full function. So the first design related feature I'm going to talk about are the wings. So as you can see, there are wings um, extended to the side of the car. And these wings are actually foldable and can be kept inside the body of the car when they're not needed. So um, they can um, be shrink, be, um, they can shrink themselves into the body of the car when the driver does not want to use them. And if you look closely on the wings, you can see that there are these um, silver lines on them. These are actually lights. And so when the car is flying in the sky, um, these lights will become red. So the purpose of this is that um, they're going to show, you know, the other cars in the sky that, you know, there's a car in the sky, just like an airplane. And as you can see, I've added um, winglets also over here at the end of um, the wings. And the purpose of this is to reduce the turbulence at the tip of the wings. And if I rotate to the back of the car, you can see that there are like jet engines over here attached to the back of the car. And basically this um, is to help propel the car forwards when it is flying in the sky. And it also has another function and I'm going to talk about it in the next feature. So the second design related feature is that the car can actually um, tuck its wheels into, the into its body and float a small distance above the ground via magnetic alleviation. And some advantages of this is that it will help reduce fuel efficiency and reduce air pollution and also noise pollution. So this is um, what the car looks like when um, it does not have wheels and wings. So we remove that and this is basically what the car will look like when it is floating maybe a few feet above the ground. And if I go back to the full function model. Um, this also has the same purpose as it did um, when the car is flying, which is to propel or move um, the car forwards when it is floating above the ground. And last but not least, um, let's talk about their design related feature, which is um, the small propeller attached to the back of the car. So this car is designed um, to basically have you know a broader, wider, and flatter shape, so that it'll be able to float in the water better. And this propeller that is attached to the back basically um, helps the car moves forward in you know when it's in the water. So people might use this feature when they're you know in a flood, in a really big flood, or you know there's an emergency and their car has to go in the water. So by having these two components, um, the car will be able to survive. Also, as you guys um, may have noticed, that I have actually added only three wheels to the car. So typically, um, a car has um, four wheels normally, but here I added only three wheels. And there is one disadvantage of this, is that um, the interior space of the car is reduced because when we add only three wheels, um, the front is more narrow and it becomes more of like a triangular shape. So maybe like less people can be seated in this car. Um, however, um, because of the triangular shape, it helps the car become more aerodynamic. Therefore, it can move faster and be able to travel at better speeds. So this basically sums up um, the overall design of my car and why I chose to design it this way. And I hope you guys like it. Thank you.